Hey Kevin, it's Coach Gurney from Rising Star Baseball Camp. This is video footage of you catching and throwing from Tuesday, July 16th, 2013. And I just want to go over a couple of things that I think you can improve as a catcher defensively. Clearly you've shown that you have a lot of potential as an offensive player. And I think with your throwing arm, your physique, and your positive mental attributes, I think you could be an excellent catcher as well. And we're going to play this in slow motion. The first thing I want to point out is something that I mentioned to you today at camp, and that is your glove. You give a very high target with your glove, and you're sitting up kind of high. Now, I know this is a throwing stance you're in because there's a man on base, but this glove is way too high here, and really, it should be down here. You want to give the pitcher, ideally, a low target so that he works down in the zone, not a high target at the hitter's uh, belly button or chest level. Um, and also, while you are sitting up a little high to get in a good throwing position, I feel like you could be slightly lower. The other thing is, this throwing hand needs to be protected better. Now, some catchers will tuck that throwing hand by their right ankle, and they'll tuck it behind, and others will actually tuck it right behind the glove here. More traditionally, catchers would tuck it by the right ankle. Either way, you're going to have to protect it um, so that if the batter fouls off a pitch, you don't break a finger, etc. And as we continue here, we see that your hand is exposed, meaning that right hand. You do start with it protected a little bit by your right leg. But then as we move forward here, we see that it does become exposed right here. And then as you get set to throw, it's very exposed. And this is, this is the point where the batter is going to be swinging and could conceivably foul the ball right into that back right hand and arm. So as we move forward here, we see that you catch and you do stand up. So a couple things here. One, you do get upright very quickly, and I'd rather you stay low. Two, and this is something that I always talk about with you guys, your glove your glove falls all the way down to your waist, and that's wasted motion that's going to be pulling you in the wrong direction. Ideally, that glove will be closer to this area right here by your left armpit. All right? And then in your follow-through, you do a pretty good job of getting over that left leg. But moving forward, the three things I'm going to stress here in terms of you throwing a second base and all you're throwing in general. One, lower that target for the pitcher, but two, get that right hand protected. Let's make sure we don't just stand straight up, but rather stay lower, as we say, come out of the chute in a lower posture. And lastly, consider that glove side, because right here, you've got a nice short throwing arc as a catcher, but your glove is all the way down by your left quadricep. And ideally, that's going to be much higher towards your armpit. So, as I said earlier, I think you have a lot of potential as a catcher defensively because of your physique, because of your intellect, and because of um, your ability to communicate with the other players on the team, which is something that the, the catcher is going to be responsible for. However, try to work on these other mechanics of the game, and I think you'll see a major improvement with your throwing down a second base.